Welcome to Dave Barlow Guitar and in this video we're going to discuss pickups <laughs> again. Now I want to discuss uh, um, a scenario which you which you may have come across which you may have. So what happens is is you buy a guitar say say for example you buy an Epiphone. Uh, let's not talk about high-end high high-end guitars we're talking about you know middle of the road. So you buy yourself an Epiphone. I have an Epiphone and uh, this is a great sounding guitar. I love this guitar and I even play it live, you know, not all the time, but quite a bit. Um, and I record with it too, and it's a great guitar. Um, so you get to your Epiphone and you're playing away and you think, oh, wow, this sounds great, but like, you know, I need something else, you know? I need something else. I need something to take me somewhere else, you know, in terms of sound. So the next thing you do is to get a pickup, right? That's, that's obvious, you know, where this, this video is going, right? So, okay, fine. So like, if you're into your metal, uh, I'm, I'm not a big metal head, but like, if you're into your metal, um, so what do you do? What pickup do you buy? There's loads of pickups on the marketplace that you can buy and try, and uh, but it's going to cost a lot of money to find out how much something's going to cost. So I always say, and if you look at all my videos, I always say, go find a pickup which does, which claims to do what you think, what they, what you, what you're looking for a pickup, and generally nine out of ten times it will do that. But go and have a look at some pickups which are probably the lower end of the market, just to see if you like that kind of pickup. Anyway, so enter this pickup, which is the Metal Machine by Iron Gear. Um, uh, I got, I, I haven't, I haven't purchased it. They actually gave me this um, because uh, they said, oh, did, "Did you want this pickup? Because we can't sell it because there's, there's scratches and stuff and horrible stuff on the front of it." And I said, "Yeah, okay, uh, might try it out." So I thought I'd give it a try. So the thing is, in your normal Epiphone, you'll, sorry, you'll have one of these, which is a normal Epiphone pickup it's just a normal box down everything i think it's one of their hot hotter pickups uh the, and it came out of the the epiphone explorer this pickup i have no idea i've never tried it i've never put it in a guitar so uh but i want to make a guitar i'm just thinking to myself for some geezers out there like you that want a guitar you bought an explorer because you want to do the heavy stuff and this pickup's not doing it for you so you want a pickup that's going to take you into the stratosphere in terms of metal right i believe that this is going to do it but i don't know so if this pickup does what it says on the website then it's going to do everything that you know i want it to do in terms of metal so without further ado let's crack on so to get going on this job, uh, we need the, the basic tools, which uh, I'm not going to insult your intelligence and lay it out on the on the uh, on the table and show you. But um, some screwdrivers uh, will be handy. Um, perhaps you'll need a soldering iron. That's pretty much it. And you might need some side snips or uh, something like that. Um, generally, pickups come ready to ready to solder in, so you shouldn't really need any side snips. So the first thing you need to do before uh, you know you take the pickup pickup off. Incidentally, you'll notice that um, the Epiphone pickup that's in here has got a, a cream surround. That's just you know that's just um, it's for ease of use for me because because I, I swapped these pickups out you know, a while ago for something else but I, and I'm using this guitar just to show you how easy it is. So uh, a few things need to happen. So the first thing we need to do is we need to. Um, we need to slacken off these strings. You don't need to take the strings off, just need to slacken them off. Um, um, if you want to change the strings, now would probably be a good time anyway. So, But if they're reasonably good strings on there, you know, just slacken them off. Uh, I'm just going to do that now. Um, let me do that. Uh, I'll, I'll, do it, I'll do it. Okay, so let's slacken these strings off and I'll come back to you. Okay, string slackened off uh, with this guitar. Um, that should be sufficient to get this pickup out. Next thing uh, we need to do is to uh, undo the base plate. Uh, so you get your screwdriver out. Uh, I, I use um, one of these handy things. Uh, I've already screwed most of the screws out. So let's just do that. And a great thing, uh, it's a great thing about this guitar. It's kind of really easy to sort of change pickups. Um, you take that off, and all, all the all the wiring is revealed here. Obviously, we've got to get to the back of the guitar. I'll show you that in a second. The next job is to take uh, this volume pot off. 
So we'll do that. I've got a screwdriver for that. Some pots um, just push on and pull off. Uh, some pots like this one. Uh, uh, sorry, knobs, not pots. I just push on, push on, and push off. This one is uh, this one's got like a, a grub screw in the side of it to just hold it in place, which I kind of like. So that's that. So other thing we need to do. Oh, we need to get. Uh, a spanner of some kind. I have one here. I have an adjustable spanner just to undo um, the nut. Be careful you don't ruin, uh, you scratch your paintwork. Uh, you might want to use a different tool other than me, but don't scratch your paintwork, especially if you're doing it for somebody else. Do not scratch their. I can't emphasize the fact. Do not pack, uh, scratch their paintwork. Push comes to shove. Put something down um, over the top of this before you undo this nut. But anyway. You've got plenty of common sense, you don't need me to explain it to you. So basically that's loose now. So we've done that. What else? Now, we don't want to undo this just yet. <clears throat> because again, you know, if we don't want to ruin the paintwork, we don't want it falling out. So the next job is we need to get this guitar turned over. So I'm going to put this scratch plate back in, just in place for a second. And I'm going to turn the whole thing over. Our next job is to undo the back plate, which I've already started doing. Speed things up. Back plate comes off and it reveals the electrics inside. Um, the volume pot that we're after is this one here, which has the uh, pickup connected to it, which is just here. So um, that's it. With that, the next job we've got to do is unsolder these wires, the pickup wires. And you'll notice the pickup wires because the earth or braided wire will be secured on the top of the pot, usually, usually, <coughs> and the um, and the hot wire will be will be in the middle of this pot here, on the middle terminal. So I'll change the camera view so we get so so <laughs> I'll change the camera view in a minute so you get a better view. But uh, let, let's just do that. Right, I uh, have my soldering iron at the ready. Usually I cover the guitar to stop any splatters or any damage to the guitar uh, while I'm soldering, or you know, you can like drop solder bits. Uh, you don't want to do it. Well, I'm not going to do that because it just gets in the way of this video. It's my guitar, so uh, you know, I don't mind if it gets a little bit damaged, but it won't. But So I have my soldering iron, and always remember to um, just tin it a bit. So there's a little bit of solder on there. And obviously make sure it's clean. Um, and so then you can go ahead and desolder. It's very simple. Um, you just hold the uh, iron over the wire there that's soldered soldered onto the top of the pot. I'm using like a really fine tip. I don't know if you can see that. Um, you might not want to use a fine tip. I use a fine tip because I do some fine soldering work. And But yeah, generally it works fine. So that's the top one off. And then the middle one. That one's off too. So it's really simple as that. It's not very difficult. And you can use any soldering iron, you know, pretty much any soldering iron will do it. Um, you don't have to have an expensive one to do this job. Okay, so uh, we got to turn the guitar over again um, uh, and take the pickup out, uh, and I'll go through that with you. Taking out the pickup, um, I'm using my drill. If you use one of these drills, be very, very careful. You don't slip, damage the paintwork, etc. So now I've loosened, obviously I've loosened the strings off. So, so now because I've, I've unsoldered it, uh, I should be able to lift this straight out. Just be a bit careful. Out she comes. That's it. The pickup is out. This is the Epiphone pickup. Okay, so what we need to do now is we need to undo this this screw here this screw here and uh, fit the new pickup onto this surround uh, the right way around uh, look at the pickups around because some of them aren't flat some of them are like a wedge shape like this and obviously that's to, the, to, to give the the right angle uh, so when it faces the so when the pickup faces the strings it, it, it faces it a right the, the, the correct angle for the strings 
some guitars are kind of flat some guitars you know I got a got a bit of a rake on the neck angle so uh, you need that wedge in there I know this is simple stuff for some of you but you know I, I just for, for, for people that have asked me to do this I'm keeping it really really simple whatever you do when you're doing this job just really just take your time there's no rush give yourself plenty of time to do it anyway so um I'm gonna take this off um, uh, put the new pickup on and I'm going to show you the installation. When you're installing a pickup, um, you, which which way does it go, right? Which way does it go? Um, well, okay. So if you look if you look at the pickup, most pickups they have a uh, a side where where you can see some screw heads, and you see a side where there's just flat kind of slugs. This side goes nearest to your bridge. This side goes goes uh, you know points towards the headstock. So uh, this is going in the in the bridge position, uh, and these these this side will be nearest to the bridge. That's the general kind of rule of thumb. Now, with this pickup, I don't know whether you can see it or not, but there are no uh, they're just they're just um, Allen key kind of slots screws on both sides. So it's difficult to tell, but uh, obviously um, with iron gear, it's usually written on the back the right way up. So technically, this will be this will be towards the bridge. This will be facing towards the neck. That's the general rule of thumb for these pickups. Now you will see on the end of these pickups that so they've got multiple wires, uh, whereas the old pickup. Oh, we had two. Generally, um, you have to consult the wiring diagram of the pickup that you're using, but in this case, uh, it's iron gear. Um, the wiring diagram's on their website of what 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 does what. But um, I'll, I'll I'll show you how I wire these up um, in a little while. I don't tend to use coil tapping myself, uh, and then for this video, I'm just going to keep it simple, and we're just going to wire it in a standard no coil tapping, and I'll show you that. In, in in the next uh, the next few minutes okay so we're gonna put that in put it back in put that in here and then the next next part will just um, install it into the guitar there is one important thing I forgot to mention uh, about um, the epiphone pickups now most pickups that I that I that I receive and, and buy and, and install into in guitars usually um, they have a specific size uh, bolt like this it's, it's kind of small it's a, it's a small bolt uh, which goes into this hole holds holds it on the pickup surround right the size of the epiphone ones are larger I don't know what size they are I don't know what screw thread they are and obviously I don't want to get into too much detail here but these bolts are not going to fit the new pickup but all pickups, as a general rule of thumb, from, from what I can recall, or from, from, from most of my experience, is that they come with their own, uh, they come with their own uh, screws, bolts, whatever you want to call them, to fit into here. So, you know, make sure that you, you know, you, you use the, the, the bolts or screws, if you like, that come with the pickup. If they don't come with the pickup, be very careful, especially with the Epiphone ones, because as you can see, that is not going to screw in there, and you don't want to force that into there. You, you, you could ruin it. You don't want to do that. I have the original proper screws, which come with this pickup. As you can see, the metal machine. They're the screws that come with it, so they're the screws and springs I'm going to use.
much. Everything in reverse. Um, first of all, uh, I'm going to thread the, uh, the wires. Pick up wires, which is probably this is probably the toughest job. Get it through the first hole. Get it out of there first. Pick up in. That's in there. Right. So far, so good. So I've I've pushed the I've pushed the wire in as far as I can this side. I'm not going to tip the guitar over just yet because this is loose. So um, I'm going to secure this with just a couple of screws for now, just so it doesn't fall about. I'm going to tip the guitar upside down. If you're bored, you can go to the end of the video uh, and listen to the sound clips, comparing the two uh, pickups. Obviously, it's not a competition with these pickups because they're two completely different types of pickups, but you get the point. So, uh, I think what we're going to do is tip the guitar over. What's that? Um, where's the wire? There it is. There's the pickup wire, I just found it, so I'm just going to give it a, a, a little tug. Not hard, just to make sure it's all through. So there we go, that's that's it. You can see that hopefully. Okay. Nope, didn't tug it hard enough. So I'm going to have to do it again. There we go. Right, next thing we do is we've got to tuck all these wires back in very carefully, very carefully tuck these wires back in, uh, especially if you're, if you're doing this on a strat. Um, strats are really easy to catch the wires. Uh, you don't want to do that. You don't want to put a screw through it. You don't want to do anything like that. So you've got to be a bit bit careful. It's like put a buckle wheel back on a bike. There we go. Right. What we'll do is we'll screw that down, make sure that's secure. I just put a couple of screws in it for now. Just in case, just in case, for some reason, there's a problem and I have to undo it all. So I don't put all the screws in. Just cut it. Anybody can do this at home, right? Anybody can do this. You don't need any special tools. You can change your own pickup. It's easy peasy. Right, let's pull this thing over. Um, and we're going to resolder it. I'm going to try and find a better, better angle uh, so you can see what I'm doing. Um, let's try that. Well, with the iron gear wiring, there are one, two, three, four, five wires. The uh, reason why there's so many wires is you can do some call tapping and stuff like that. Um, in this video, we're not going to do that. We're just going to do, we're just going to wire everything bog standard. So, for this wiring, you got this, uh, you got two black wires, which are uh, like the earth wires, ground wires. And what we're going to do is we're going to um, just, just uh, pinch them together. For now, that will be soldered to the back of the pot. The red one will be soldered to the middle terminal on the pot. So uh, I'm going to do that now. It's not difficult. Um, I think I might, uh, I might. These look like they're, they're tinned, but I'm going to tin these wires again. Tin the soldering iron, so you got solder on the tip. Then you put your solder on the wire and just apply the solder and that will just adhere lovely look at that and I'm gonna do this one as well should have put my glasses on really but there you go that was done too so with we've, uh, we've done that job all we've got to do now let's move that out of the way get our pot then we want to put the earth. Let's get these wires so they can put the earth. So look, it's going to go like that. So the earth goes on the top of the pot, and the uh, the hot wire will go into the middle terminal. Let's just do that now. Let's get that done. The heat up. I've done so. I've done so many swaps on here. I think I've built up a bit of solder, but hey ho, you know, 
Never mind. Okay, that's the earth on. That's difficult to see. Now the middle terminal, which is this one here. Let's get that one on. Right, so the middle terminal's on. The earth terminal's on. Give them a little bit of tug, just to make sure, you know, they're on properly, which they are. I'm hoping you can see this. It's so difficult to do these kind of videos. But, um... With, with my with my equipment anyway but hey that's on I, I'll give you a close up I'm going to move this camera so you can so you can see a bit more you can see um, there's the hot wire just there which I've soldered on that's the earth wire just there which I've soldered on um, yeah you can see this is seen a lot of action this spot a lot of soldering but there you go um, this guitar gets used for a lot of demos with pickups but there you go so that's all on there all we got to do now is put the thing back together again so putting it back together again uh, any washers that uh, that come out uh, need to go back in don't leave them out it's kind of important that we have them and uh, they're really difficult to get back in sometimes but there you go that's in next thing we need to put the washer and the nut to hold the pot. Let's do that quickly. Hopefully you can see. That's that done. So we've got some wires sticking out. We just like put them in, tidy it up a little bit, make sure there's no bare wires or anything like that. Get the back on. Screw the back down. Back screwed down. Next job is to uh, put the put the screws, the rest of the screws in there, which I'm sure you can do that. Put the rest of the screws in the scratch plate. Put the knob back on. Screw it in place. Tighten up the strings. Once we've done that, I'll show you the next step. Okay, so um, next job is we need to raise the height of this pickup now. <laughs> so, uh, at what at what uh, 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 at what height do we put this pickup at? Well, whatever height you fancy, really. Um, I usually go by here, but I'm just going to guess where I think this pickup should be, uh, and just go from there. Obviously, uh, I play around with my pickup height quite a lot to get to get it the way I want it. I reckon about I reckon about there-ish is fine. Um, the uh, the adjustment screws, uh, which you can adjust. Um, generally, I, I don't touch them. Generally, they're they're all pretty flat, and it, it it doesn't bother me too much. It depends probably on the guitar and your taste, but um, generally, I don't really touch them uh, at all. So this guitar is ready to go. Um, it's got a new pickup in, and hopefully, um, I've shown you how simple it is to actually do. So it doesn't put you off doing the job yourself. Obviously, it's different for different guitars. Just take your time. Um, have a clear workspace. Have plenty of room to work in, and just take it. All I can do is all I can tell you is just take your time. If you take your time, take care of what you're doing, it'll be fine. Just and if you do that, it's fine. Okay, so um, I've got to record this guitar now. So uh, obviously, at the end of the video, you can hear. What it sounds like with this new pickup. Okay, so we got the metal machine in, uh, and I've got it running through my uh, blue guitar. And um, it's not it's not a metal amplifier. It's kind of a classic rock kind of amplifier. Although it does have a modern channel on it, which I'm plugged into the well. I've rigged up for the modern channel 
Um, I haven't gone with full gain. Um, I'm kind of on about, I don't know, three quarters gain. I haven't got, um, uh, I haven't got um, any anything else going on apart from perhaps a tad of reverb. Um, so let's give it a whirl. <laughs> Lots of metal. <laughs> I try it again. I'm gonna try it again. <laughs> Some metal, um, yeah, I think uh, that's what it's supposed to sound like. So, um, I'm assuming that uh, uh, because of the, because of the, the way it's configured and it's um, and the way it's potted, it's vacuum wax potted. So, uh, big volumes with all that gain, you're going to get a lot less feedback and stuff. Although I can't uh, show you that here, really, without upsetting the whole street, let alone the neighbours. And uh, so, yeah, so that's that. Um, but um, I have used uh, live the other pickups, which are the steam hammers, which are vacuum wax potted. And yes, they do, they don't feed back at all. In fact, control sustain is what you get from them. But um, so I'm assuming these would be similar. Also, uh, um, they, they are, they do retain quite a bit of clarity and definition. So, um, which I'm assuming is deliberate because obviously if you're using a lot of gain, uh, you're pushing your amp really hard. It's going to get really grumbly and blah, you know. So you need a pickup which is which you, which can cut through and uh, and have some definition, which I'm assuming this one does, by the sounds of it. So anyway, um, I'm going to play out uh, with some because I'm not a metal guy, but I'm going to play out with <laughs> with stuff and uh, have a listen, enjoy. Um, and thanks for watching. I'll catch you later.